Hello, for those of you who do not know what high ticket closing is or what a high ticket closer is, this is going to be the video for you. So, what are the things that make a high ticket closer? Well, they are almost selling, but yeah, we call it closing for an influencer, for yourself even being an affiliate closer for a program after you have finished it. Let's say it's some sales program you've done, some programs will let you become an affiliate afterwards. So, let's pretend that right now, you are probably stuck in a job you don't really like. You're looking for a skill to get yourself a bit more higher income. Now, when I say high ticket closing, what I mean by that is packages that are roughly 50,000 or over, or they could be like 3K, 2K, um, 1K you're almost heading to low ticket, but it is on the medium side, yes. So let's pretend you're selling a 4K package or a 5K package, and let's say you get a 10 or 20 percent commission from a 4k package now if it's 10 percent of 4k you'd get 400 so when you get 400 then that's going to be your money let's say you sell a few of them you could get a little bit more because, I mean, you could easily make, if you're good, you could make a bit more money to get out of your job. So, for anyone who might be familiar with Dan's gem video, uh, An Emerald, I'm going to explain some of the, kind of, the figures here. Um, also, Wealth Triangle. I'm just going to draw it now for you. Okay. So. High. Income. Skill. Um, scalable business and then ROI so return of investment so then this is the page I want you to have a look at so you can see it clearly this is what we're getting so be warned it's kind of it's kind of a little bit Unneat writing here. I'll show you it again. Have you not seen it? So, yeah, there it is. So, let's say you start with high income skill, then you want to go to scalable business, then you could hire some closers, and then the return of investment. So let's say the money you made, you could put it into real estate, you could put it into any other type of thing. Whereas potentially in Oxford, I mean, I could go on the kind of rental market. Because, uh, yeah, if you know who I am, I'm Will from Oxford, UK, City of Dreaming Spires. But anyway, so I guess if you live in Oxford, you could tap into the, the student rental market. So basically, you'd get a house, do it up, then say to the university, I've got a house for you, and get some students inside, and then make some capital off that. That'd be your ROI. But what you first want to start with is the high income skill. Which high ticket closing is one of many. It's one of many high income skills. Uh, so when we're going to be going from quite 
let's say you're going from quite high amounts, you've got an income goal, you want to make $6,000 and you want to go up to 10,000. So for me, that would be a potential benchmark for myself to go even higher. And uh, for me at my progression rate, I've almost made a few sales as you probably know from some of my other videos. Now, let's pretend that you want to make 10K, you want to make 50K. Sometimes you might have to ditch some of your friends, your family, but your family are quite hard to ditch. Sometimes your friends might be. But when you're in HTC, you're around so many people doing the same thing, doing high ticket closing or people who've already closed deals. They've already closed big amounts, small amounts for influencers or they've closed for Sifu himself or what I call Dan Locke if you don't know who Sifu is. Yeah, that's my definition. But anyway, I'll explain more on the meaning of Sifu. Okay, so we call him the king of high ticket sales because he teaches a skill high ticket closing because it's going to start from your mindset and then we work on more like the skill so imagine let's pretend you're in a problematic situation and you need a high income skill where are you going to turn okay so you may choose to be a high ticket closer which does mean you're going to have to have the most strongest mindset the most strongest skill set and quite a lot of business acumen as well but actually you probably don't need business acumen to even learn the skill but anyway I mean if you've seen any of Dan Locke's videos you'll know he does teach some snippets of business acumen here and there so Anyway, I'm going to leave you on this note and stay tuned for part two.